Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It is Monday, my least favorite day of the week. I don't know if you guys can see, but Sophie's gone out to take care of the baby ducks, the goose and the duck. A couple days ago, we Sophie and I made new treats. These are hers. She put them in a mold. These are horse treats. Mine are sugar-free. We use a lot of treats with our horses, so I'm looking for recipes that horses can have that don't offer a lot of sugar and this flaxseed and water you can do flaxseed and apple soup applesauce and water i ended up using just flaxseed and water and the horses like them believe it or not they have really cute silkies i know i love this i want to show them what you found but like these peonies are making our house smell so amazing you wouldn't believe it. um cleaning the basement i found this kit I bought this, we bought this, Sam and I bought this years and years ago when we first started our YouTube channel. It's a dog obstacle course. It's kind of like agility. It's not a very good one, but basically we have a jump, we have weave pulls, we have a tunnel, and we have a square. So I'm hoping to set this up in the next couple of days and then we're gonna have a good old fashioned day by day competition and see who can teach their dog the most and see which of our dogs like it. I feel like all win. You do? Yeah. Why? Because Daisy is deaf and that just makes her better. I love that. she has that. to use all her other skills. I love that. And lastly, she found my old phone. Cleaning out the basement, I found Sophie's okay. old phone. It's charging. And she's dying to see if she has any pictures of there, like on there. Because my friend on Roblox, she found an old phone and she went through it. And apparently now I have an old phone. Oh wow, that, what a coincidence. I found that just sitting on top of a box. Hmm. Some days I wake up and I'm like, oh, what are we gonna do today? Because I like to be busy and I like to do different things every day. And then there are other days like today where I wake up and I have so many things that I wanna do and I don't have enough time for them all. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the things I wanna do today. So first, I want to can, can I set this, this up. Yeah, I wanna set this up for the dogs. Two, I want to shave honey. More on that later. Three, I want to make a toy for honey because she is a baby and she gets bored. I wanted to show you guys this footage that I took the other day. Hopefully I still have the footage, but essentially a bird, a mama bird laid a nest in their paddock and it was at the end of their paddock and whenever we ride in the arena, all the horses go down to the end. Well, Honey met up with his mama bird. Every time she would go near the nest, the mama bird would go crazy. And then there was a standoff where the mama bird was just standing there screaming at Honey and Honey was like staring at her. It was a standoff. And then Honey decided it, it was a game and she chased that mama bird all over the place. There's a little bird in here because either that's a fledgling or it's a mom. Where's the nest? Anyway, the baby keeps chasing it. She made a nest in the, in the oh, it must be the mom. She's bad. <laughs> Leave her alone. <laughs> Honey thinks it's her plaything. Is the nest still out there? There's no nest? There's no nest. The nest is gone? I don't know where it was. Oh. I don't see anything. I'll go look. So I'm gonna give this to Gabby. Go put it up on the hill. All the things are in here. I have this, I'll get that for you. There's a jump. Uh, There's. Can I, can I do it with honey instead of Daisy? Yeah, you can do it with honey or too. Or Willow. No, I'll do it but first we're going to do it with the dogs. You can't do it with honey until after we do it with the dogs because the spacing and stuff for the weave poles will be different. Honey's small. She's fine. First thing we're going to do today is we're going to shave honey and we're going to show you why. So honey is full of sugar and literally running like a wild thing lately she just chased ruby across the whole horse field when we went to bring them in she's turned into a devil an energetic devil it's the same like as a bunch of kids on sugar 
No, she ran laps around Matthew. She ran laps. She just runs. She just runs. She goes all the way down to the bottom. She thinks it's a game. And then she races all the other horses up to the front when it's time to come in. It's going to be, uh, look at her huffing and puffing. It's going to be a heat wave for this week. It's going to be so super hot. Still shedding. Yeah, she is still shedding, but she's not shedding like a ton. Oh, so so, so we're thinking we're gonna just take this off. Like Sophie did shed did that in your bed. Sophie did do her belly and her neck. Stop. Mom. Wow, she's got a thick neck. Mom. That's so cute. All right, make sure so All right, shaver. Gabby, we need your help. We suck at shaving. So Gabby's gonna help her, and we're gonna come and we're gonna look after. I'm scared to look. She's so little. I'm like afraid she's gonna look too tiny after. Like I'm afraid I'm not gonna be able to. I feel like I'm gonna be shocked by what she looks like. She's so little. I'm just so not used to seeing her without all the hair. And she's so light. So Sophie thinks that that stuff's gonna come. Gonna... It is, cause when her other hair grows, this stuff falls out. And cause that was the same with this. She this was white, white on her face and then. And now you can see her two spots. In a couple of weeks, the brown came out, so. We're hoping that that's what happens here. I'm just not used to it. I like her fluffy now. <laughs> I don't like her fluffy. <laughs> this is all the fluff. It just matters that she's comfortable. And Ruby's getting shaved too soon. I'm not shaving Ruby. No, she's going to the hairdresser. Technically, we could probably take her to she's a hairdresser. She's small enough. I know. So this is the aftermath. And it is a lot. Thank you, Gabby. You did awesome. Gabby did all of this. That looks like spots. So it's hard to tell what color she's gonna be. So you can see all these spots. I think that that's the color gonna come through because when we did her face, she had all this white stuff and then this brown color came through. So no, those are spots. Cause there's like, they're down here. And then she has all these spots here too. We don't know. And then they just stop down here. All I know is she feels a lot better. She doesn't want to stand. This is the color of her face. But when we first shaved her face, it was the same color as her body. So who knows, she'd still be looking white underneath. Okay, so we're trying to figure out where to hang this bucket. We have it full of rocks. I think we need to hang it from the rafters. It's not that. Big. So this is just like enrichment for the baby. Push it. Just something new. Every summer we try and add new things to their environment to keep them like interested. <laughs> So we're gonna try and hang it up right now. Ellie, come on! Can you guys see Ellie out there? She's just standing there watching us, sitting in the grass. Ellie, come on! Oh, Gabby's up there. Gabby's on the top of the hill setting up the agility set, and Ellie's with her. Okay, you guys, this is bad. It's just one rope hanging down. Before. Oh, let's see if Penny will push it. Good girl! Good girl! Yeah! <laughs> All right, everyone's interested. Everyone's interested in the thing. I'm not gonna leave it there because horses can't see directly in front of them. I'm just gonna hang it along the wall. Because even though it's only just going to be one rope, even though it's just gonna be one rope hanging down, it just makes me nervous. Because if they're running and they get caught around their neck somehow, because horses, you guys all know, horses can do anything. Stop trying to get the treats. You want more treats? Yay, she pushed it! Push it, push it here. Yeah! All the horses are loving it. Push it again. It's crazy. Yay, good girl! She did. Oh, look at Willow's touching, pushing it too. Give Willow a treat. Push it, Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is way too much fun. Clearly, I can't have it swinging between them. <laughs> this is the dumbest idea we ever had, but definitely the most fun. Yeah. I oh, know. Look at my horse. I'm all out. <laughs> What's that game where you like hang up a ball, a tether ball? And it's on a pole and you just stand in a circle? There's a game called Tether Pole. <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> yeah, I don't <laughs> the only reason I'm laughing is because the horses are handling this just fine. 
Oh, it didn't turn out. I'm gonna try and take your halter off. Wait, we can, we can do better. We can oh my goodness. I'm just having way too much fun at this. Sit. Yeah, <laughs> Penny is just flinging that thing. I'm loving the fact that the horses love my sugar-free treats. Like they love them. And we've given them treats before that have just been like blah. So now I'm gonna make more. That ba I only made one batch just to make sure. I might start adding flaxseed to all of our horses' grain because flaxseed, um, is really good for balancing blood sugar and because our horses are aging and because they're all out on grass I always worry. I walked away for one minute <laughs> And we got the rope stuck <laughs> So normally I would call Sam and say Sam come help us We got our rope stuck, but I got Gabby and Gabby's just as good You can go up higher Gabby you could stand on that and get it <laughs> yeah. I'll stand underneath you and catch you. You can see how short Willow is. She cuts the wood, poof, the whole bar falls Willow down. Like <laughs> she did it. Okay, get down and I'll grab it. I don't want to pull it until you're out of the way. All right. <laughs> we didn't need Sam. We don't need, we do not need a man. All right, that's it. This is the finished finished product. I'm gonna see, it's probably kind of low. I could probably tie it up a bit. Sadly, I'm gonna cut the rope. All right, you wanna try it again? Come here, look, look, look. I don't know I'm trying to balance it, it's not working. Why? I'm grabbing my phone. Did you see what we did to your baby? <laughs> She's a different color. Ish. That's how she scratches her bum. <laughs> you know what's weird? Penny loves Storm over a fence, but she hates him in the field with her. Like if they come within any proximity in a field, she freaks out because he, he's bitten her before. But across the fence, it's love at first sight. We have a bunch of stuff that Molly. is for like, whoa. <laughs> she's so good. <laughs> this is not, so we have a tunnel. They came with the kit, we came with this kit and Sophie put it somewhere and I don't know where it is. So I brought this out. Wow, that works. Molly, go Here. over it. Good job, go over it. I wonder, so I wonder if Ellie would do it. Get in, get in, go, go. <laughs> They'll see if Ellie will go. Come on, Ellie, come on. Oh, she came through, but your dog blocked it. This is why we can only have one dog in the field at a time. Come on, Daisy. Okay, can't hear you. Army clock. Come on, Ellie. Come on, come on. <laughs> okay. So we have that, then we have weave poles, but our grass needs to really be cut for us to do it. We have weave poles, I think they're way too close together. Actually, they're not too close for Ellie. Oh, I missed it, it was so good! And then we have a square for them to stay in, and then we have a little tiny jump. So that's what came with this kit. It's just a cheap little tiny kit that we bought when the kids were like, Seven. But super fun to see if any of our dogs are into agility. So we won't have Ellie jump. She's only six months. Go over it. Good job. Ruby. Go over it. Alright, let me go. Over. Come on. She jumps through. Come on, Ellie. Come on. Come on, not that way. Kelly, call her. Put her in it. Okay. Ellie, come on. Go in. Come on, Ellie. 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 Come on. Come on, Ellie. Come on. <laughs> All right, call Ruby through it. Ruby's too big. <laughs> There's Ellie again. Ellie just goes in and out. Yeah, my dog can't fit in that. All right, so we're gonna try and work with our puppies today and tomorrow. And then at the end of the vlog tomorrow, we're gonna try and show you guys what our, our dogs have learned. And we'll see if any of them like agility and if any of them, and who's the best one at it. Do you have high hopes for your dog? No. I do, your dog is a genius. Look at my dog with a giant stick. <laughs> She's like,
like nobody will bother me in here. <laughs> that's, that's so funny. Do you have dog treats? Yeah. Molly. 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 So that's the thing about Yorkies, you guys, is that they were designed, they were bred to go in tunnels and catch rats. So tunnels are Ellie's thing. Every time I put down the camera, I look over and she's running through this tunnel. She thinks it's hers now. She's claimed it. She's like, I'll just lay in here and chew my stick. Better. Don't you know that you're beautiful?